Hey, this is Nate with Renegade Nate Fitness Coaching and Consulting and Underground Fitness Revolution. Today I'm going to show you the swing and how to do proper form with your swing. Remember in some of my other videos I've shown you how to do a deadlift, whether it's the Romanian deadlift with dumbbells or kettlebells or a barbell, and also the static stomp deadlift and kettlebell deadlift as well as a barbell deadlift. What do these things all have in common? They are all a hinging movement, a hinging pattern. So what does that mean? It means you hinge back at the hips. So a swing is a hinge, not a squat, to a plank standing upright. What is this position? It's the same as a push-up position, the same as a rowing position. It's a plank. So we go from a hinging position to a plank position. We don't go overhead. Most people don't have the flexibility or the mobility in their shoulders to do that. It can be dangerous for a lot of people. There's no need to go overhead, and if you're going to go overhead, that's what the snatch is for. So there's no reason to do what they call the American swing, which you typically see um, in CrossFit or um, certain um, other gyms and, and personal trainers may use it. There's no need to do that. Like I said, if you want to go overhead, that's what the snatch is for, whether it's with a barbell or with a kettlebell or even a dumbbell. So with the swing, the whole idea is to have force going forward. We want to explode forward. Why? Because many sports require you to explode or have explosive power going forward, not up. It's forward. So you'll see that a lot, especially in things like uh, football. You know, what does a lineman do? He has to be explosive forward, pushing forward. So a swing is great for that, and it's going to be safer at chest level than it is to go overhead. Now, again. The swing is a hinge, it is not a squat. So you have to hinge back. Don't squat, hinge back. Which means on the side, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna hinge back. My chest is above my hips. I'm here, this is where I'm gonna grab that kettlebell, I'm gonna swing it back, and then I'm coming up to the plank. So we wanna explosively come back with, this, with the kettlebell on the swing, aim for your zipper and get out of the way. Aim for the zipper and get out of the way. You also want the bell to stay up pretty high. Your forearms are going to come up here by your zipper or the crotch. They're going to be right here in a two-arm swing. You don't want to be swinging below the knees. You want to stay above the knees. So if we go below the knees, what starts happening, you start rounding your back, and that's going to set you up for an injury. The swing is one of the safest things you can do, and one of the best things you can do for your lower back. And I've seen coaching clients overcome a lot of back injuries or issues just from doing the swing with proper form. So I'm teaching you the correct version of a swing. This is standard Russian kettlebell swing. RKC teaches it, SFG, Strong First teaches it. This is how it's done. So let me show you the swing. I'm gonna hinge back. I'm gonna reach forward to grab that bell. So I want it about eight to 12 inches in front of me. I'm gonna hike this back hard right toward my zipper. and then part the bell. So you notice that I'm breathing. I was breathing in to the nose, out to the mouth. So that's our biomechanical breathing match. And that's what we want to do, just like when we do a goblet squat. Same thing as that. <clears throat> notice that I stayed above my knees on the way back. I hinged back. I did not squat. Hinged back. I came right through here, and then I came up to the plank position, which is about chest level. It's as far as you need to go, chest level. Some people may have softer elbows, so you might have noticed that my elbows have a slight bend in them, but I'm not pulling with my arms. This is not an arm exercise. This is not to shake your arms, as some misleading magazines may lead you to believe. Yeah, sure, it works the whole body, but by bending your arms or trying to pull with your arms or trying to raise it with your arms, it's not the intention of the exercise. So I have soft elbows, is what they call it, but ideally you do want to go with straight arms, so that would look like this. And that's a good position to be in, straight arms, straight ahead, chest level, perfect. That's what you want, hinge back, explode forward. So when you're exploding forward, you're using your glutes and your hamstrings for this. So let me show you the swing from the side. Again, I'm going to park it out in front of me, about 8 to 12 inches. I'm going to hinge back. I like using my hands 
as a, as a way to hinge by putting them in my hip crease. So you put, push this back, you're going to hinge correctly. Reach out, chest above the hips, take a big breath. So 
It's very similar, except that you've got two arms there. They still stay high. You're still going back. You're still hinging. You're still in this chest up, butt back position, and then come up, squeeze the glutes to your plank. So I'll show you the one arm swing from the front. Reach out for it. You can either switch by putting it back on the floor, or you can switch mid-air, do what you're comfortable with, just make sure, no people, no pets, and you have a safe area if you do that, just in case you do let it go. So, this is not a very long video, but it does give you some good tips and techniques on the two-hand swing, dead stop swing, and one-arm swing. So if you have any questions, let me know. Practice it, practice it, practice it. Stay light, make sure you have your hinging pattern down, make sure you perfect the deadlift first, and then move to the swing. If you have any questions, just hit me up. Renegade Nate Fitness Coaching and Consulting, Underground Fitness Revolution. Crank it.